to my good friend Osla. Thanks for the reply, buddy. Um, you made a lot of interesting points in the video, and I want to congratulate you. You know, you do you do a great job. Um, you guys who are checking out this video, go subscribe to Osla. Um, you probably better find him by the name Osla Likes Pie, all one word. But um, I'm just gonna put like a link to his uh, channel in the description and the video that I'm replying to. So, he was going over some things, um, like, he went over some things that I neglected, as a matter of fact. I forgot to mention. Um, one thing he mentioned was people do actually buy those, um, the DLC for Soul Calibur Lost Swords. And he said that he watched Avoiding the Puddle live, or ATP live, and Rip actually said it. Which, you know, I watched the show too, and I actually remember him saying that. <laughs> so, there are $100 DLCs for Soul Calibur Lost Swords. And some people do, do, do they do buy them, you know? And me personally, I could never do that because that's, 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 uh, that's a misuse of resources. It's a misuse of money. You know what I mean? That's that's just my opinion. If I ever bought something like that, I would have to win the lottery. And if I bought it even still after that, I would feel like an idiot. But you know, it's really it's really it's really odd to me that they would charge a hundred dollars. Like Namco has been doing some weird things for the past couple of years. Now, they know what to do with these games. Like, I'm pretty sure it's been brought up in meetings, like, why would you do this? Um like, Osla, he, he mentioned that, you know, Soul Calibur, it'd probably be better off with a darker, more serious story. And, you know, Patroclus story in Soul Calibur 5 was really dry. Now, I'm sure he knows, you know, that Soul Calibur 5, they said it was only a quarter done because of the time restrictions um, and whatnot. But I'm not defending them at all. Um, if it was only a quarter done, if there were you know, three more quarters of that game, it still wouldn't make up for the absence of characters and the reasons why they're in the game, you know? And it doesn't make up... It, like, they're in, they tried to do the story like Mortal Kombat, but it didn't work. That's the thing. They gave Patroclus, like, eight chapters, pure two, and, like, one was why. Um, which brings me to my next point. Uh, characters that would be in the game... I wouldn't have a problem with having Patroclus in the game. I don't like Patroclus, but he has a fighting style. That's just the thing about fighting games. Like, once there's a person with a fighting style, it's kind of unfair for somebody who went through the trouble to main that character to just take him away. You know, and he's really low on the list. I wouldn't mind having Patroclus in the game. Not Alpha Patroclus, because that's just... That was a stupid concept from the beginning. Like, how does he have two swords fighting styles? Like, he learned from Seska, but then he learned who his mother is, and he tried to fight like her. But, you know, Seska's style turned out to be better for some reason. I, I thought that was stupid. Um, you know, and I, I know what they tried to do with that. Namco is not slick. They tried to kill two birds with one stone. They're like, oh, man, we re we need a really cool um, alternate alternate alter ego for you know our two new characters so people will think they're really cool but it failed because well pira is pretty much the same like pira she all she does is get like a claw that never went away you guys remember that she got a claw from soul edge and um it didn't go away like she got she got like purified whatnot her eyes were still still yellow and her she still had a claw isn't that weird but Back to subject, um, they tried to make an alter ego for both the characters, and they ended up making, like, a character with, like, the, a, a style from a character we already know, you know? And it's a shame Setsuko wasn't in the game. I mean, it's a shame most of the characters are in Soul Calibur V, and they don't have a story. But, you know how that goes. Um, what else was I about to talk about with the Soul series? I would like to see a story mode like Soul Calibur 3. Because Soul Calibur 3, they did a lot of things similar to the old games. And there's a lot of stuff to read, you know? Like, Mitsurugi, 
but when I played with him in between in between him traveling to places, Mitsurugi, he like it gave narrative of what happened. There was even one scenario where he got poisoned, you know, and where he got poisoned, he went to see Setsuka, not at the you know the sub boss place, but at her stage, and you know, they fought, they did the cutscene and whatnot, and that's just engraved in my mind. It's like these characters interacted with each other. Like, why is Namco avoiding that? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's kind of like with Tekken. Like, everybody, we've, we've been talking about this for years. They know what we want. They know we want them to have interactions with each other. They know that's what makes the game, like, the game story fun. They, they know that's what makes other fighting game stories successful. Just seeing that. But they just don't put it in the game. Like, it's... It's annoying. Like, is it because you got to pay voice actors like overtime or something? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it, it, it's really ridiculous. But, you know, I'm not in charge of their their financial well-being. I don't know how they're doing. Um, but anyway, yeah, the Soul Series, I, I just think they need to step their game up once again because... They're being overshadowed by games like Dead or Alive. You know, Soul Calibur is trying to be like Dead or Alive. It, it may not be that they need to step their game up, but they need to put another person in charge of the Soul Calibur franchise because whoever's doing it right now is just, like, trying to get some money. Like, this isn't an arcade. It's a console fighting game, you know? It's, it's an arcade fighting game, but it's a fighting game on consoles, too. So, stop trying to charge us every time we play or you know have us do these micro transactions and give us some quality content give us some quality content give us the characters we want thank you for making a poll but really they should have gave us a choice of five characters i don't know why they asked us to pick our favorite that's kind of um that gets the point across but you know we got a bunch of people trying to calculate answers now you know like of course i want mitsurugi in the game he's my favorite character in the soul series but he's already popular, so I'm not going to vote for him. I voted for Huang because he deserves a shot. And Yun Sung is just his his stupid replacement. Like, there was no reason to put him in the game. I'll, I'll say that, uh, like, now and forever. But I do believe that they're working on Soul Calibur Six. For them to hold a poll like that, I really highly doubt that they're doing it because they want to add more characters to Soul Calibur Lost Swords, Especially... With all the people on their page disliking it and telling them that, you know, they're never going to buy a Soul game again because, <laughs> you know, they're refusing to listen to us. Because the Soul Calibur team, they look at those comments on um, on uh, on Facebook. I've seen them reply to comments and they don't ever reply to the negative comments. They always reply to positive comments like we got more costumes coming soon. They don't ever see the comments that say when Soul Calibur 6 or we're getting tired of this game. Like it's been how long has Soul Calibur Lost Swords been out? Like a year, maybe two. And we still haven't got any hint of Soul Calibur 6. And it's like that's why people are still liking that page because they're like, I want to know first. They want their favorite game, and we're, they're just not getting it. Now, Soul Calibur, I'm not meaning to bury the series or the franchise in any way, shape, or form. I love it right along up there with Bloody Roar and Tekken because I started out on Soul Blade, and that game was fucking amazing for the time it came out, and nobody can tell me otherwise. And Soul Calibur 1 and 2 didn't feel them that much. I got them both. Um, 3 was my favorite probably my favorite out of all of them soul Calibur 3 is my favorite out of all of them soul blades like second four would be perfect if the online was good they didn't add perks to characters and they actually had interactions like i'm actually at the point where i would be happy if they just said soul Calibur 4 definitive edition ps4 what do you guys think i think that that's i think that that's decent I don't think it's too much to ask for, but, you know, how Namco is. But, um, also, thank you for the reply to the video, and, well, I will catch you guys next time.